Yeah. You want to try them out? I'm just embarrassed now. Eh? <laughs> Look, mate, you got a light to try out. Oh, yeah. I picked this up this morning. It's... Ooh, la, la, la. So the test is going to be whether it flickers when I plug it in. <laughs> <laughs> is that flickering? Nah, it's good. Really? Yeah. yeah oh, just... you know what you're looking at. I'll hold it up. Do you see if it's flickering? Bro, it's good. True. Yeah. yeah. I might good. buy a few of them. That light's good. I might buy a few of them because uh, it's dark in here and it's often dark on building sites. And that's durable too, see it's got the rubber on it? This isn't an ad, I just found this at Placemakers this morning. Boom! Boom! There's also one more new thing that I wanted to show you. Just t-shirt. T-shirt, jumper, hoodie. And here's the hats, I don't know if you'll like this style or what. <laughs> Sweet. Um, yeah, this is a new thing here. Check it out. Thanks, Makita. Thanks, Makita. This is a Martinez M1 Titanium Hammer. I bought this, um, and I bought it for the YouTube videos, pretty much. A lot of people were comparing my hammer my Vaughn one to this, so I thought I'd try it out. Damn, bro. It's a beast. There's something there. It's cool, bro. So I'll give that a bit of a try over the next couple of weeks. Does it, feel, it feels heavier the way. It's heavier at the top. I think it's a steel head. Yeah. With titanium handle. I like it. So the inventor of Stiletto now has this company called Martinez. He made this hammer. All right. Let's see what it's like over the next couple of weeks. There we go. There's the Vaughn. Yeah. More top heavy, the M1. You want to try them out? I'm just embarrassed now, eh? <laughs> you got one of these, motherfucker. My brother has it, so. Okay, give that a, give that a test. Choppy chop chop. There you go. This one's lighter. This one looks cooler. And they both do the same thing. <laughs> 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 Be careful, man, you scratched it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some bloody work. Alright, as we get ready to do the plywood, we need a fresh blade. They keep the Allen key on this thing. I think all tools should do this. Have a tool on the tool, so you can change the blades without going to your van. So these are the blades that I prefer, because they have no paint on them. These blades are great, you know, like, I'm not saying they're not, but the fact that they have paint on them in the past, when I've been cutting plywood, it leaves paint on their cut edge, and because the cut edge is kind of a feature on this ceiling, it might be an issue. So I'm going to test it now, because that we need a sharp blade, but if it's going to leave paint on the edge, then we might have to stick with the blunt blade. Alright, let's do a test cut. We're in the money. There we go, no paint. Great success. Maybe I had one blade that was, um, I don't know, freshly painted. So walk us through it, Pardo. What are you doing here? Oh, what I'm doing is putting the mark on so I can set up the old trexel. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So the rafters are quite good, and you know, they're not perfect, but they're quite good for a sheet. We just have to rip a little bit off either side. They're actually quite consistent with the ceiling we did at the bottom. 1192 was the measurement we were sticking to down there as well. So this is 1192. And this end is the bottom, and it's gonna go right into the beam. We're not doing the negative detail at the beam because the negative detail is about breaking up the sheets and the beam does that pretty well. Alright, you need to go over a bit. Yep. And 
then what do you want to do? Go up or down? That's good, bro. Okay, I'll mark it on the center of the knob, but we'll go four mil back from that mark. And I think we just keep it parallel, I keep it square. Yeah. You right there, Pato? Yeah. <laughs> You're famous, mate. We just keep it parallel. We don't want to follow those nogs. Don't know who put them in, you know? Yeah, true. Some cowboys. Woohoo! <laughs> So the glue that we're using on this plywood ceiling is this stuff. Gorilla Fixall High Tack and we're using the black one because we're doing the black negative details so if any glue you know, gets out beyond the sheet you won't pick it up as much and it's super strong so we're, we're only using 16 gauge pins and that should be enough to hold it on its own but we're trying to use as few pins as possible and letting the glue do the rest and so far it's been pretty good we use this for all the plywood projects that we've done on the channel on the walls the ceiling and even on the walls we use the white stuff but it was the exact same thing even on the walls it, it was able to hold the ply all by itself no pins at all so it's very good stuff negative detail and the 16 gauge pins and the ceiling's way up there so you're not going to see those pinholes it's good that we got the first couple of sheets up eh? yeah it was satisfying yeah. that's uh we started in the middle to give ourselves a nice straight line we measured to the wall and it's like dead consistent which shows that the rafters were done well we did consider cutting up here because we wouldn't have to trip but it could be like a rainfall of dust down throughout all the rooms of the house so we scratched that idea mm. okay, well, yeah but we're just gonna mark the bottom for now eh? so this beam isn't parallel it isn't square off the sheets either off the rafters so minor adjustments Gap. And there's our little packers.
That's the fish sheet in this area. And that corner there is square. Hey doggy, hey doggy. All right, get out. All right. <laughs> that thing pants like it's gonna be his last breath, eh? Yeah.